concrete. It sounds unimaginable, but it's about to be installed on a Michigan bridge. Concrete is becoming the material of choice in constructing roads. It lasts longer than asphalt, but its rigidity can cause it to shatter under extreme stress, like during an earthquake. So what is the solution? How about flexible concrete? Civil engineer Dr. Victor Lee has developed such a material called engineered cement composite, and he joins me now from the University of Michigan. Dr. Lee, this sounds crazy. What exactly is your bendable concrete? Well, um, this engineered cement composite uh, feels and looks like not ordinary concrete. They are different only when it is subjected to loading, and if you load it excessively, it will deform like metal, so it's a um, metal-like material. So what's actually in it then that allows it to bend? Well, the material composition in many ways is very similar to normal concrete. It has cement, it has sand, and it has, of course, you mix it with water and has some chemical additives. But what is different is that it doesn't use horse aggregates, the large stones normally you found in normal concrete. But instead, we have very fine, uh, tiny itsy bitsy fibers. And I can show you uh, this fiber here. I don't know if you can see yeah, that yeah, in I the camera. Uh -huh. uh, so this is already a bundle of them. But you can see more of it here in the whole beaker. Uh -huh. And these fibers are very, very tiny. They are about the size of uh, half the diameter of a human hair, about 40 microns. And they are coated with a surface layer that allows the fiber to slip out uh, if the structure is overloaded so that it gives the material a behavior very similar to ductile metal yielding rather than fracturing. Uh, so it's different from brittle concrete which behave somewhat like glass. So are the fibers actually bending themselves or are they just slipping past other fibers giving some flex? Uh, they are doing both actually. Uh, if the fibers are aligned then they are just sliding but actually most, in most of these composites that we are making the fibers are randomly distributed. So when they are inside the material they can also bend. And how much can this concrete bend? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, here's a specimen that we have loaded uh, in our laboratory. Uh, not loaded by me, it's very strong actually. So normally in a structure we do, of course do not deform the material to this large amount. But we did this in a testing machine where we have put about, for this specimen, a very thin, about one centimeter thick. Uh, we put the weight of a human person and overload it and you can see that the material still holds together in a deformed shape. Well, that looks very cool, but how does it compare um, to normal concrete then in terms of its strength, for example? It is similar to normal to high strength concrete. We have a range of this material, some of which can go as high as 80, 90 megapascal compressive strength, similar to high strength concrete. The difference is the very high ductility or as you would sometimes describe it, being able to flex when it's overloaded and keep the load there. So if you were, let's say, in a building or on a bridge deck when it's overloaded, you want to the material to still be able to hold the load and keep you safe rather than fracturing into small pieces. So how does its durability compare to normal concrete? Well, the material durability is quite high. Uh, we have tested it under various conditions. And also, the, uh, there is now a bridge in Japan uh, with a deck built with this material uh, and overlying a thin steel plate with a total thickness of about five centimeters. So this is an ultra thin deck. And the designers are expecting a service life of 100 years. Is that longer than normal concrete? Uh, this is particularly long in light of the fact that Hokkaido in Japan is a very cold region. So the severe weathering condition, the freezing and falling conditions are very harsh. So far so good. What about its price? Well, the material, I'm afraid, is a bit more expensive than normal concrete. It's roughly about three times at the moment, at least. I expect it to go down in cost of time. Uh, however, the, what is important 
to users is the initial cost very often. Uh, for example, the bridge deck I mentioned a moment ago, the cost is cut down to about 50%, and that's because a smaller volume of material was used. Well, it does sound like a pretty amazing material. Thanks very much for telling us all about it today. My pleasure. Civil engineer Dr. Victor Lee has developed engineered cement composites, and he joined me today from the University of Michigan.